Hey, what's going on guys? Indie Freak 425 back here with another episode of I almost said Retro City Rampage. Ay, ay, ay. Valiant Hearts the Great War. And where we left off, we're here with Anna and the Zeppelin just crashed in the forest. And we gotta go find uh, her father, which ended up being the scientist who made all those things, like including the Zeppelin. <laughs> Oh, oh, looks like I'm going anyways. Ah. Look away, look away, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, what's that, what's that, what do we got? The Virgin Mary statuette and case, a case containing a statuette of the Virgin Mary, another example of trench art. To overcome their boredom, soldiers would set to work transforming anything that came to hand. Unexploded ammunition, and empty cartridges, and shell debris were all turned into day-to-day -day items and put to a more pacifist use. I think that's what that was. Oh! Sorry. You were... you were totally past that bush. Ugh. Oh, whatever. Alright, let's go. Let's do this one more time. Yep, we're going to find her father, the scientist. Look the other way. Look the other way. See, the dog is fine. Oh, you don't see me. Run, 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 run. So yeah, sorry about the kind of sporadic uploads lately, you guys. I've been, I've been doing a lot of stuff. Hey, what's up? I got you, man. Up, right, up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, right. It's like Dance Dance Revolution with a keyboard, except for we're saving people. So, there we go. Uh oh, what are we pulling out? Oh, it does not look fun. Oh, boy. Oh. Shouldn't we like bandage that up? Uh, uh, Not that I'm a doctor, but I don't know. It just kind of seems important. Just... Sorry, man. Well, you're saved. You're not gonna die, at least. That's for sure. Ooh, ooh, this doesn't look good. Ooh, Carl! No! Carl! Come on, Walt. Oh, what do we got? Life and death of the Zeppelin. The Zeppelin was effective at the start of the war and in 1915. London suffered over 50, 50 Zeppelin raids before the Royal Navy Air Service intervened. The craft's weak spot was obviously its hydrogen-filled balloon. Hydrogen is lighter than air, hence its value to aviation. However, it is also highly inflammable, and the slightest spark... Won't that be flammable? Ah, whatever. And the slightest spark sent the craft plummeting spectacularly groundward in a ball of flames. Of the 92 craft using, used during the war, 68 were destroyed. Facial disfiguration. By 1918, there were 20 million war wounded, all countries included. Roughly 70% of injuries came from shrapnel, and only 1% from bayonets. Facial injuries could result in having a jaw, nose, or eyes removed. But progress in surgery saved and patched up many victims of facial disfigurement and amputation, of which there were 200,000 post-war. Dang. That's a lot. What's up, puppy? Come on. What do we got? Yeah, keep barking. Keep barking. Good job. Good job. What do we got? Oh, hey, letter. What is that? Letter from a soldier. Dear Emma, we are on the retreat. Our position is unten untenable. Don't worry, I'm still in good health. We are going to leave Rames to the enemy. Rames is a beautiful city. I hope all is well at home and you are taking good care of your parents. I hope the prisoners are working uh, properly for you. See you soon, Siegfried. I, you'd think I could go through the door, but never mind. What do we got, Walt? Oh... Yeah, maybe you should go out there and get that. Can you get that for me? 
You got it, buddy. There you go. Good puppy. But I'm afraid otherwise it would fall on the fire. Good boy. Oui, bon chien. Oh, good boy. Good puppy. Oh, such a cool dog. Alright, let's get this. We got this. Alright. Oh, that's why. Because it's a metal door. Oh, we went far. Oh, Carl. Carl, I got you, man. Oh, this looks complicated. Um, actually, oh, hold that. Hold on. I don't want to leave him, but I'm feel like there's an artifact. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Broken pistol. Broken P08 pistol designed for German artillerymen. The P means parabellum, which refers to as 9mm ammunition. The word parabellum comes from the Latin civis pacem parabellum. If you want peace, get ready for war. Man, they're using a lot of Latin. Latin inspired words like that, uh, in, in tenable comes from the Latin word teneo, which means to hold. So, in tenable means you can't hold it. So, oh, oh, that's not good. I don't know. Sorry, I, I have taken a little bit of Latin, so I, some of that stuff makes sense to me. Thank you, puppy. So, now, if you're asking me to translate a whole ton of stuff, then I'm probably not going to be able to do it. But, alright, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, this does not look safe. Okay. Alright, we're good. What is that? What is that? Jeez, that is small. Dart. These darts were dropped onto trenches from zeppelins or aircraft. Due to the velocity on impact, their heavy tips were capable of piercing through anything between them and the ground, including helmets and soldiers' skulls. See. Alright, that's something new to me. I have... Wow. That's slightly disturbing. Wow, I wasn't even aiming for that and I somehow hit it. I don't need a hint. No, I... Huh. So I suppose... Oh, oh. oh, that hurt so much. Get him out of there. There we go. Alright, we gotta go heal him. Yeah, no, that dart thing is new to me, but I suppose... Instead of using bullets, that would make the most sense. Alright, stay with me, man. Oh, he's not doing good. Oh, God, this is complicated. You good? Uh, Alright, we got this. Bandage him up, bandage him up. Quick, quick. Save Carl! Uh, there we go. What else? Oh. Uh, you have to be perfect for Carl. Is he good? Oh, what? He abandoned Carl. He, oh, jeez. What? Oh boy, something's not happening. Holy crimey. Careful. Whoa. Careful, you guys. Oh, he's got it. Come on, Walt. We got more important things to worry about. What? Can you go through that? Oh, no, stop drinking the water. Uh, oh, okay, okay, we got it. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I need you. Oh, no, I need to. Uh, there's something for a meal. Go now. 
Okay, good. I can still go back. I was gonna say, I'm like, there's an artifact and I need it. I don't need it, but I want it. What is it? Sterilizing solution. Soldiers drew water directly from rivers and streams, but because the rats and decomposing corpses, river and stream water brought a ma uh, bleh, major threat of disease. Soldiers used a variety of products to disinfect water before drinking it, but the best solution was to boil it up. But then it's hot, and you can't drink it, and nothing is worse than drinking really hot water when you just want something to cool you off. Oh boy. What? You just get me a stick of dynamite? Oi. Or maybe Freddy needs it? I beat you? Oh, I got him. I got him with the spoon. And we have some dynamite too, so. Uh oh. Can't. Um. Maybe you can go over, yeah. Doggy, come here. What? There you go. Hey. Now go over to Freddy, and Freddy can take the dynamite. Wait, hold on. Good boy, good puppy. All right. Wait a second. How to, oh, we gotta get into the fire. Okay, I think. Oh, sweet. Run away! Run away, Freddy! Fire in the hole. Oh, jeez, that looked like we just got killed. Oh, get away. Hey there. Did he just say get away? No, dig it up. What do we got? Oh, sweet. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Wait, no, you actually need that. Because you have to give it to Emil. Who needs to put it in the thing. And we put the thingy with the other thingy. Merci, right. Man, we really hit that guy hard. Do we? Do we kill him? I hope not. Oh, he still has those chains on his feet too, doesn't he? All right, Freddy's out. I think he can help us now. And um, yes, thank you, Freddy. You're awesome. All right. What do we got? Um, what's going on? Oh, I think... I think I see what we have to do here. Oh, wait a second. So that has to catch on fire. Then oh, no, oh, I think did we do it? Ah, perfect. Sweetness. I had no idea what we were supposed to do there. Hey, there's the car. That means. <gasps> no. 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 He's injured. Victory had a bittersweet taste for Anna. Carl, seriously wounded, had been sent to a POW camp. Anna's father had disappeared with Baron von Dorf and Emil was court-martialed for desertion. Cited for his bravery in Reims, Emil was fortunately pardoned and set free. Free to go back to the front. Oh, jeez. <sighs> February 21st, 1916. Winter had descended on the front. After joining back up with the army, Emil and Freddy were stationed near Verdun, suffering like many others from the harsh winter. That morning, the arrival of the mail raised spirits, but Marie's letter did not bring good news. In Saint-Miel, food was scarce, disease was rife, 
and the number of dead was growing. Out of this grim news, however, there was one ray of light, a photo of his grandson, Victor, standing on both feet and learning to walk. Oh, man. All right, guys, and with that, I think I'm going to call it an episode just because I've been, it hasn't been a really long episode, but I have a feeling that this next part is going to be pretty long. It's going to make the episode really long, so I think I'm just going to stop here. But yeah, uh, thanks again for watching, you guys. Sorry again about the weird kind of pauses and stuff. I've been trying to upload every day, but there's been some stuff getting in the way, and I've just been kind of busy, so. But I'll try to keep up with that schedule. I'll try to get back on at least one video a day, if not every other day. But I'll try not to do any more than that. I know it accidentally it happened because I was out of town for the 4th of July, actually up at my cabin so yeah happy fourth of july to all you guys should have said that earlier but but yeah thanks again for watching you guys please leave a like or comment if you enjoyed and yeah watch if you haven't seen any of my other videos definitely go check it out got a couple other good series going on but yeah thanks again for watching guys and take care